episode of the Motion News was brought to you by Brooklyn Brokerage. All forms of insurance. Personal, commercial, business. And by Nifty Noggins. Elegant and fun designer wig stands. And... Hello friends, those of you who follow me on Facebook and Instagram know that I'm a big fan of Razzles, that I have a Razzle in almost every single episode somewhere. So if you're a big fan of Razzles too, and you want to go get one cheaper than everyone else, just go to Sweet Expressions, the best kosher ice cream store in all of Brooklyn. Yeah, hello? Sweet Expressions on Kingston Avenue and Union Street in Crown Heights. That is like the best. If you guys walk to Sweet Expressions and say the words, Holy Chernobyl, he will give you the Razzle for 10% cheaper than like anyone else gets it. Holy Chernobyl! I think that is incredible. Here's the deal, you only have seven days to do this. Well, uh, six because of Shabbos. Oh, but mostly Shabbos are open, oh, right? Mm. So, don't forget, magic words are please and holy Chernobyl. Enjoy your razzles, guys. Hey, welcome back to another exciting edition of Maisha News. My name is Maisha, this is the news. What's the witty comment for this week? What's the witty, uh, the witty opening uh, segment? You guys didn't write on. What do I, what do I hide? Were you guys using the cat? were you guys using the camera before when I was downstairs getting the other stuff together for the show? Were you? No, because I thought, I thought I heard you guys using the camera. No? Okay. No, seriously, where is he? Maisha? Hey, welcome back to another exciting edition of the Chicken News. My name is Chicken. This is the news. Guys, he's not here. Guys, he's not here. Come out quick, guys, before he shows up again. So you guys definitely heard of the uh, cicadas, right? They're coming. The cicadas are coming. Time to go quick run for your life. Every 17 years, these insects called the cicadas emerge from the ground. Kind of interesting but gross at the same time to watch. The last time they came up was 17 years ago, and they've been sleeping for the past 17 years. <laughs> and once they emerge from the ground, they take a road trip across the United States. <laughs> there are millions of them. No, I'm sorry. Billions of them. That's billion with a B. <laughs> with a B. <laughs> with a B. <laughs> Just a few bugs. Just a few of them on some guy's tree. Like, what's the big deal? Let them be in his backyard. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, it's gross. It's so there's like just millions of them. Oh, they, they look like little tiny. Peanuts for making peanut butter are runner peanuts because they uniform and roast more evenly than peanuts that vary in size. The nuts travel through a hot air roaster. Oh, come on, Toby. You guys are just being a little squeamish right now because you saw just a few hundred thousand. Yeah, but if you spend time with just one of them by himself, you'll see they're, they're kind of cute, actually. They are, look. They're gross. <laughs> but in reality, don't worry, because these things may be gross, but at the same time, they don't bite, they don't sting, they don't chase you. They're completely harmless. In other news, recently, multi-millionaire Yussel Goodnick, aka Diamond Joe, has told somebody at the local newspaper in Australia that after many years, we are going to be moving out of Australia, going to Singapore. Yussel, that was a very brave move of you, my friend. Gotta say, um, the reason for the relocation. Quote, I'm doing it because the resource sector and investment environment is much better in Singapore. It's also quiet, I can read, I get peace. Well, I guess the cicadas aren't the only one who are tired of keeping their heads buried down under. Here's the deal, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Me, I'm kinda slow, but I get there. For example, I don't know anything about the diamond business. My question is, and maybe you can answer me, how on earth is reading going to be any easier in Singapore than it was in Australia? Maybe because everything is backwards, people are having problems reading. <gasps> if we would print the books upside down, we would solve that global dyslexia issue. We could make millions. <gasps> I gotta call Yussel. Me, I'm kinda slow, but I get there. Yussel, good night. How you doing, my friend? It's Maisha Kravitsky from the Maisha News here. It doesn't matter if you've ever heard of me. Listen, I don't think you're dyslexic. I, I've been doing a lot of research and I think that maybe the reason you feel it would be easier to read in Singapore is because in Australia all the pages might be printed backwards. Yeah, of course I see a therapist. Why? Hello? Hello? Um, I think, uh, I think he got disconnected. I'll call him back later. 
So, yes, so a few tidbits about the neighborhood you're moving into, about the Shkuna. Number one, the name Singapore does not imply that all the homeless people gather together in a circle once a year and start singing songs, although that would be interesting to watch. There are a few interesting laws that you might want to know about before you get to Singapore. Number one, the country actually forces their citizens to believe in one God. If anyone practices a religion where they believe in a different God, that person gets caned thrown in jail and charged a lot of money. You are not allowed to spray paint anywhere, anything, anytime in Singapore. In 1994, there was a US teenager who went touring in Singapore. When he was there, he didn't know and he spray painted and he got caned thrown in jail and find a lot of money. Next, if a person uses a public restroom in Singapore and forgets to flush, he will be caned, thrown in jail, and find a lot of money. If you're walking in Singapore and you throw some garbage on the floor and it happens three times, you will be forced to wear a bib that says, I am a litterer. And of course, you will be caned, thrown in prison, and find a lot of money. Singapore prides itself on being one of the neatest, cleanest, and most civil countries in the entire world. Look, Singapore, here's the deal. I think it's great that you guys want a clean country, and I think it's awesome that you guys are promoting belief in one God. I don't know if you guys have read the Torah, but it does say that you guys can make a choice to live the way you want. And, well, actually, I'm pretty certain you didn't read the Torah. You kind of <laughs> cane people whenever they forget to flush the toilet. <laughs> And finally, to wrap things up, it seems like Benny Friedman also had his choice taken away from him as well. When he was singing at a wedding the other day, some dude walks up to the stage, takes his hand, just as he's about to get to the good part. You know, yesh tikva, yachan, I don't know the lyrics, I'm sure you guys probably figured that out by now. You ever heard of yesh tikva before? It's, uh, it's also known as What's a Rabbi Doing in Shark Tank? So, right as Benny's about to get to the good part, this guy grabs Benny's hand, lowers him down, whispers something in Benny's ear, and suddenly Benny just I I I's the rest of the thing. <laughs> confrontation over there. Benny, you are the boss of the week. I mean, I'm, I really do wonder what this guy said that made both of them just have their mics down and they're looking at each other wondering what is going on. Maybe it's true. Maybe there isn't any hope. Maybe there's a cicada invasion and Dr. Seuss has something to do with it. Maybe the world is coming to an end and we don't know about it. God forbid. Maybe there is no hope. Maybe ain't Tikva. And at that moment, he started singing, No, yes, Tikva. He started singing and he started jumping again. And then the other guy came along and he said, Nope, I'll be taking that and I'll be taking that. And there is no hope and have a nice day. By the way, in case you're ever wondering what curly paste looks like when you're standing up super close to it. But you know what? I'm not going to say that there's no such thing as free choice. In this instance, there was another plan from up above. And they weren't supposed to sing that song at the wedding for some reason. Just curious if any of you guys know why the dude did not want to sing Yesh Tikva because it's an awesome song. Let me know in the comment box below. So that's my show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And for all you newbies out there, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Coming at you in 3, 2, 1. Don't make me do this. <laughs> We're filming here. Fine. I will change your design next time. For now, can you please just come up? Thank you. You guys are awesome. I will see you next week. Yeah.